Big surprises today in the Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 6. Oh, I love surprises. The best geek news. Hello, hello, episode 523 is underway and I will be talking spoilers for the Book of Boba Fett, but at the end of the show, so let's do the news first. A new report has emerged stating that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, the latest game from developer Rocksteady Studios, has now been internally delayed to 2023. While no official announcement has yet been made, I'm always on the side of the developers when they feel like they might need more time to make a game as polished as possible. You know, unless Arkham Knights gets delayed till 2023 too then I probably won't be happy. <laughs> Both of you. Sticking with video games today, 2K dropped a deep dive video looking at the gameplay of WWE 2K22. And so far, it looks promising, but I've learned to keep my expectations at bay. You can't trick me anymore. In a new interview with Total Film, Robert Pattinson admitted that like most superhero movies, the film will tease a sequel at the end, and that he thinks people will be quote, quite shocked at how different it is. That sounds promising. In a new interview with Den of Geek, director Roland Emmerich admitted that the film industry has been taken over by Marvel, DC, and Star Wars, and that it's ruining the industry because no one does anything original anymore. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna stay out of this one, but do you guys think he's right? I'm just plumb out of ideas. All right, with all the news out of the way, let's discuss The Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 6. Spoilers ahead. You guys know the drill if you haven't seen the episode yet. Get out! <laughs> First off, I love this episode. So, so good. With that said, a little confused as to why this show is called The Book of Boba Fett, because book you know, implies that it's about Boba Fett, when we've now had two entire episodes without the man. Maybe a better title would have been The Buddies of Boba Fett. Good title. It was awesome to see so many familiar faces return. Speaking of faces, I thought the deep fake technology on Luke looks so much better this go around than it did in the Mandalorian season two finale. I hope nobody attacks me for saying this, but Luke had some real jealous stepdad energy, didn't he? Make a choice, son, him or me. Also, what are you doing, Luke? Like asking Grogu to drop all emotional attachments, but you still keep R2-D2 around? I'm just saying. The big surprise that's probably already been spoiled for you if you even peeked online before you saw the episode was the live action debut of Cad Bane, the terrifying extraterrestrial bounty hunter who we've seen before in the Clone Wars and the Bad Batch. And hot damn, was he every bit as badass as I thought he'd be. Though I'm, you know, personally hoping he didn't kill Cobb Van. Tis but a scratch. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of today's episode and if you're excited for next week's finale. Can't believe it's already here. I'm ready for it. Hope you enjoyed the show. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Like the video for support, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.